Hey everybody, I'm Tektos, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron. We are playing as Italy, and this episode I'm likely gonna deliver the excitement that I promised for last episode, because our troops are now en route, and we already got a good stack here for the invasion of Casablanca, though I have gave it a little thought, and by the way I started reorganizing a bit, uh, moving my... Uh, unnecessary militia here from Sudan down to this port of Ed. Actually, I could do it the other way around. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, and we're gonna spread some of the militia, maybe even all of it, throughout uh, the the Italian homeland and maybe throughout Germany here, so we can fend off these annoying popping pop-ups from uh, from the Americans there that uh, support local revolts and uh, get these militia pop-ups. They're not such a big deal, but the problem with them is that the Germans will retract everything from their border and weaken their front line, which then will allow the Russians to refocus on our part of the front, which is not fun at all. So, do want to... Uh, Keep that at a minimum and have like maybe a good coverage here. Actually, while I'm talking, I kind of why I don't use yeah. Let's use the motorized. Why don't you just do that? Can make nice two stacks and they should be actually helpful until we get the the tanks and the, the tank destroyers to stick on the motorized. We could actually just spread them out a little. Why not? They're fast movers. They pack a punch. I like that. Good. Um, where was I? Yeah, invasion. Let's uh, let's first get the troops there and uh, worry about it. Oh, by the way, before we do anything else, I need to kind of deal with this situation. Uh, what the hell happened here? They're attacking there. So we're gonna... Yeah, I don't want that. How about we deal with you that way? Did I stop my tanks? Apparently I did. Um, let's just move everybody here. And just get three to move up there. Moving here, these guys can just... What am I doing there actually? Uh, we're winning there, we're winning here, we're winning everywhere, by winning. Uh, hmm, I watched that interview maybe one too many times. By the way, I found one more tactical bomber in my uh, stash, so we're good. Did I just mess up the encirclement? No, I didn't, okay. Thought I just did that. Uh, there's more tactical bombers here. Let's just put you there. And actually put these guys here. There we go. Interceptors. I kind of forgot because I had a break in between. So we're just going to air intercept here. And uh, is that all? Interceptor 1. Interceptor 2. Okay, let's air intercept that with... Uh, Ricolo. <laughs> oh man. What a name. And Gamondi is gonna do it over here. Well, actually, like that. Alrighty. Should keep him busy. Naval bomber. Mm. We already got the, the submarines raiding here. But we could actually. Let's just group them together and uh, then split them off and we got this nice group of naval bombers that could do uh, convoy raiding day and night maybe in these two regions why not will also serve a purpose of scouting all right so anything else uh, i don't think so waiting for these guys i just hope i don't forget because i've been talking about reorganizing my militia like 10 times already and uh Ain't happened so far, but 
It's gonna happen, don't you worry. All right, um, three tanks there. Fighting up here, we could actually just support the attack, make that a little faster. There we go. I'm actually not sure if we'll make it in time. Not likely, though. All right, who's not moving? You guys can attack in 74 hours. Well, I actually found out that I'm stupid. Which might not be news to some of you, but it was news to me. I should protect this. What did I do there? Jesus Christ. Uh, move these guys here. Actually, move the whole bunch here. Get my Alpini spread out along this border. And move these guys here, because they can't actually cross this stretch of land. So, And the Germans are taking care of this here nicely. So why should I do it? I don't know. I guess because I'm stupid. That could be a reason. Well, not a reason, but more like an explanation. Also one that made me mess up the encirclement here. Uh, you know what? Could actually take these two guys and tag up here. Let's do that. And take the rest that can't attack and move them here. That seems good. Hmm, not sure if I'm gonna make it though, anyway. Good, or not good, depends on your angle. How's our... Oh, almost there. Almost there. Good. Um, now, the CAC are gonna take some time to build up their organization. So, what I'm gonna do is take advantage of the fact that the British likely can't enter here. Or can they? I'm still pretty unsure about that. And uh, concentrate my invasion on this port over here. Hopefully, what that will do... Oh, actually, this here is not too well guarded. Though I can't really see it. But hopefully what that will do is draw the f troops from Casablanca over here. Once we accomplish that, which uh, hopefully not going to be too hard. Let's actually start it off right away, so I can do that while babbling along. You two... Get on it, invasion. Those are Canadian troops, right? Something like it. Um, while that is going on, we can then hopefully take our freshly rested and equipped fleet and um, kill off their supply lines. So hopefully what can happen. So. We'll see if that actually works, or if I'm just, uh, you know, talking myself to sleep, but one can hope, right? can also hope that these Germans are making an advance. Well, we'll find out. Alright, but I'm spreading myself thin already on the Russian front lines. I'm not sure is that actually gonna... if my plan's actually gonna work the way I intended to. Uh, we'll find out. Right, take these two marines. Uh, well, actually we... I don't think we need that many. Let's just start off with the regular... regular old infantry. Just gonna load them up. What's happening now? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Alright. That should work out. Look at those morons! Jesus. I wish they... I really wish they wouldn't do that. We could use all those troops so desperately on the Russian front. But, uh... They're just, they're just idiots, is what they are. So hard to uh, to deal with it, because imagine if we had all that on this front line. Imagine that. We'd be pushing for Moscow easy by that time. 
Because the Bulgarian, actually, they have a... I mean, it's not strong compared to the uh, standards of a German or a Russian or a Japanese military. But they got a decent sized military and if they would only focus that where it's needed... It would be such a wonderful thing. <sighs> anyway, doesn't really matter that much. Uh, apparently the Russians caught up in tech though, because they really are a pain in the ass already. And I think what I'm gonna... Yeah, that's great, buddy. You're, you're a trooper. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, maybe push them behind the river a little bit, make them... Hopefully make them retreat. You know, take that victory point here. Once I did that, I'm gonna pull down all my troops, establish a front line here along the river. Or maybe here. And just, just defend the ports. Just have a route of supply. Let's actually see where that goes. Yeah, that goes along the coast here. Just have that. And then push, do a spearhead operation for Stalingrad and just pray. <laughs> that is my my strategy. Uh, strategies that involve praying, it's not always uh, what you want to have happen, but... Okay, I don't want to declare war in Vichy France. I really don't. But uh, sometimes it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Now, if you could make yourself useful and attack here, that would be lovely. Just freaking lovely. But apparently they can't do that. It would be too much, I don't know, too, too right or too, too smart. Freaking suckers. Uh, I read around the forms a little bit and apparently this is what happens if you draw uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, Iraq and uh, the Middle East into the war. The uh, the Germans and Bulgarians and all the others, they, they will mess up your front line like they do now. And it's apparently going to get even worse if you're going to drag in Turkey. So I'm going to hold off on that. Because the last thing I need right now is the Germans pulling even more troops from their already scattered front line. That is really the absolute last thing I need. I just need to deal with these British bastards the uh, the fastest way possible and uh, no offense uh, intended there. Oh, speaking of no offense intended, I intend a lot of offense with these cags. One, two, uh, why did one deploy to the carrier? I didn't put you there. Whatever. Goody, so now we got these guys. And I think I'm gonna leave them in Athens for a while, just so they can replenish their organization. Okay, so we got two motorized running around. They got two tanks, two tank destroyers for that. And then we're gonna get two more tank destroyers and two more tanks. So we also need four more motorized. Why don't we queue that up? I wonder. There we go. Just so we'll have a full production queue at all times. Don't get that annoying wasted industry icon, because that is really what we do not want to have happen. Ah, disrupt national unity. Very, very good. I like that. <laughs> uh, I don't like that my... Where? What? Where are these guys coming from? Alright, doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna now... I think we're just gonna put these guys in a harbor that could repair fast. Like... Uh, that's a little far though. Let's see on the naval map you can see, by the way... You can see by the size of the icon for the harbor, just how big it is. I mean, yeah, that makes kind of sense, but just how... Well, uh, yeah, just how big it is. Period. So this one here can take care of our transports by repairing them by 60 per day which means it's a fully fully built up harbor so we're gonna station them there and let them repair a little bit hopefully they can make it alive and we're gonna take these guys and help with the invasion there go go my children 
Also, I kind of need to take a sip of tea. Mmm. Delicious. Uh, also, don't forget about the Russian border, because uh, those guys are kind of... kind of important. What are they doing? They're moving their troops. Reorganizing. Do they also have militia pop-ups? No, they're moving up here. Retreating there. And a huge stack. So weird. Mm. Oh yeah, Germans. Please do that. Please do encircle the, the Russians there. So if they're retreating and weakening their defense just a little bit, that could actually mean we can... Uh, where do you belong to, by the way? To the mixed core, huh? I don't need you here. Mixed core I need up there. So let's take... Where, where was that? Mixed core HQ, there you are. And there's another infantry, let's... Uh, don't actually need you here, let's move you there. And bring the HQ over here. Actually, also strategically redeploy. We have one motorized there. And one motorized there. So these two could go down here as well. For now, though, I'm gonna need them to push back. Where are you? Oh, there's this guy, alright. Uh, let's move you, I don't know, up here maybe? Oh man, such a chaos. So we got one Alpini here, two coming here. That should be enough. We only got to defend again. I don't know what the Russians are doing there anyway. Um, okay, so then we got... What are you doing? Two of you are moving out. Yeah, okay, so we'll have two Alpini here. Actually leave one of these guys in the province. Rather move one Alpini. Like so, spread them out just a little bit more. Um, have the HQ move here, just because it looks cooler. Okay, so we got one Alpini, one Alpini, one infantry, one Alpini here. We will then have... Two infantry, one Alpini. We don't need that. So we're gonna take the small, well, the big infantry, put them up here. That should work. Just hope they don't screw me over while I'm reorganizing. That would be kind of sad. And all these troops are part of this HQ. Could we find a better... Logistics Wizard, Defensive and Old Guard, Fortress Buster and Defensive. Well, that's a great combination. How about that? Uh, we have him. He's, he's pretty okay. Yeah, I should, should have reorganized my military. One more mistake in that Let's Play, but... Ah, looks like we're doing fine anyway. Alright, so we're moving him up there these guys here. So we have that entire stack basically to shove around. Which is kind of great. Um, let's get two of you there. And two of you here. So these two. Who's your boss? Okay, you are. So we can actually redeploy these guys. And we shall do just that. Where's your boss? There he is. Um, yeah, you come here as well. And your boss will come here. Okay, we'll see where we are at once this movement is carried out. Look at that, I can do movement patterns like the AI. Can you tell the difference? I can't. <laughs> See that? Arrow is pointing in every direction, and my arrows as well. And everything's moving and chaotic. Oh, that's so great. I'm proud of myself. 
<laughs> I'm not. I'm just kidding. Good. Um, transport's moving. These guys are moving as well. Now, let's see about the infrastructure in that region. Yep. As expected. What do we have? We did have one. I think we need to relocate the transport plane. Should have built a couple of those. Yeah, should have really done that. Move you here. How expensive are they? Um, yeah, let's click through all the tabs before we get to actually... Uh, transport plane. 25! Okay. So much for that idea. Not gonna do that. Would be a viable way to uh, strengthen your invasion, though. Have like four transport planes, and hmm, but they kind of share the same tech with the heavy bombers, which I really didn't need that many of. Kind of fine with the. Uh, what do you belong to? Yeah, I weirded myself out, I guess. Mm, let's push those guys out. There's really no reason why they should sit there. Uh, except that they're stronger than my units. Uh, that's a good reason. How about you get some tactical bombing on your head? Do we have anybody here that could help? Interceptor, could you reach there? Yeah, Pretty obvious, though. Well... Hmm, there are some troops coming here, so we could uh, support the attack there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, how's the invasion going? Pretty good. We won that. And now we're sending in the... Reinforcements. I think I can restructure my HQ stuff here. Because really there's no... Yeah, there's no reason to have that many HQs and have that many officers bound. But, uh... I was young and dumb when I did that, so... Seemed to make sense at the time. Okay, now I'm just waiting for this reorganization to happen because it's way too confusing to make any sort of offensive move. Ah, I like what I'm seeing. Push for that victory point. Do that thing. Mm -mm -mm. Why is all that happened here? Need to lock in you. Don't need that much diplomacy, like so, should be fine. Spies don't seem to uh, get used up at all. No! Like this seems fine, okay. Let's tone down the spies, maybe 2.3. And the rest could go into officers, and I'm also maybe considering doing one less tech so we'll get more officers because the uh, officer ratio is really shrinking at an alarming rate and I don't want that to go below 100% so uh, just something to consider there alright my Russian friends you can have that border back I don't really mind uh, we're moving to Pavlo or whatever, so we can move these guys out. I think. Yeah. Could actually... Okay, let's move the tanks down here. There you go. Move all that in here. Um, hmm. <laughs> what are you guys doing there? 
Now I'm really wondering if I should leave a couple motorized up there. Oh, the drones are doing work. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Who's your boss? Tank destroyer core. Alright, let's uh no. Let's have you move there. You can move that up front. Uh that's actually the easiest way to see if you're supplying everybody is to pick up the uh most high ranked HQ and see if there's any red lines. Though it's looking pretty good. Uh, they're sitting in Odessa. Yeah, I think they could stay there for a while. No, let's bring these guys to the front lines a little more. Because here's my more. I really need another infantry army. I really do. What's happening here? We got two guys there. Why are you all retreating? Like, doesn't even matter if I have a front line here. All right, let's move you all up here. I don't. I don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. Where do you guys belong to? Oh yeah, you definitely need to go to the front line. Um, you... Run here please, you and you. Run here please, and the boss... Also gonna... Well, at least run here. Man, that organization chaos. Really a sad thing. And we're already having supply problems, that is great. Just pick up that transport plane and start air supplying. Uh, move you guys here. One here, that should be enough. The engineers in there and everything, so we should be good. Wonder if that is enough. What if we actually rebase these guys to here? Could we then patrol up here? I think we can. I don't want to rebase them to Gibraltar, because they're going to suck up the supplies faster than I want to. It's already a problem with the supplies. I think I'm building a little bit too much armor, by the way. Should focus a little more on the infantry side of things, but infantry goes more on the. Yeah, I don't know. Infantry goes more on the manpower, I think. And more on the uh, officer ratio, so whatever I do, it's gonna be costly, and uh, we actually don't have resources for many. Oh! Hey there! Those guys look like anti tank. I don't like anti-tank. Who's your boss? Um, tank destroyer core. All right. Thou shall move forward, like so, and thou shall bring destruction upon uh, thy enemies. That's uh, it's so scary. Like if I test out the tanks, like just pick three and attack here. Mostly that's gonna go disastrous. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, mess with my uh, battleship fleet. It's not like they didn't uh, have like twenty successful fights already. All right, so like I said, it's gonna go disastrous. So we need some uh, some infantry support there. Should be okay though. Can provide that. I just have to push 
push them behind the river there and take mostly take over the Rostov Nadon harbor. Oh, I'm liking what Germany is doing. They are now really pushing through the middle, pushing for Moscow. Really like to see that. Kind of hard to believe that the AI would actually go ahead and do the right thing after I witnessed this crap here. Oh man. I can't even look at it. It's so disgusting. Look at... Man. If we had that here, it would have been an easy march for Moscow. I really need to play this thing in a multiplayer one day so I can reduce the anger fits to a minimum because I know I suck at the game still but this is just ridiculous like why it... yeah whatever okay I'm gonna calm down uh, sip my tea try and be happy and positive because that's the key to a happy life right and there we go one more invasion successful uh, I think we're just gonna pick these guys for defenders. What the hell's happening here? Um, yeah, actually, you can move here. Yep, you can move there. And uh, another big one can move here as well. That should be enough. Like, we need a serious defense in the city here, because there's an airport and we have our interceptors and a bomber in there. If they have to rebase through to uh, because of an attack, they're gonna lose a lot of organization. I don't know if I can take that or handle that. But if we uh, defend a little, should be okay. And the Russians are... Like, they're taking the, the bait I'm giving them. I'm just pushing them back a little and they're moving in here. We can attack them again. Just keep their organization low and keep them busy on this front. And hopefully the, the move that I'm planning will work. Like, really focus my uh, att offensive power into one spearhead operation for Stalingrad. And I'm setting up for that. As you can see, most of my troop movement is here towards Rostov Nadon. Once we got that and we established supplies, I think maybe if the Germans don't mess it up, we could get Stalingrad together with Moscow and just end the war. I don't even want to, like, nothing fancy, just make it be over so we can redeploy our troops and get ready for the uh, Allied invasions. Uh, they'll maybe even go for Great Britain. We'll see. Anyway, uh, that shall do it for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I think we did some good stuff now. Uh, we're finally starting to fight against the British, or fight back against the British. And we're uh, advancing tech. That's nice. Uh, yep, that needs to go up more. So uh, that is good. And uh, we're also kind of okay-ish on the Russian front. Germans are not... It's like amazing to me that they can do that with their limited manpower. Though the problems, like they, they, if they push in the middle, they get like dents in their front lines here and here. And this is because half of their military is just wandering around the map doing God knows what. So we'll see how it goes in the long run. Anyway, uh, that shall do it for the episode. I hope you guys enjoy it and also wish you a wonderful day and uh, hopefully see you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.